Chapter 6, Buddy. And I'm going to suggest that you get yourself some tissues. This is a sad one. Pete opened the cellar doors. We peered around him. But my mother turned her head away as if she didn't want to see. There was hail lying on the ground and broken limbs and leaves everywhere. No real damage, Pete called to my mother in a cheer cheerful voice. My mother folded her hands over her heart. But I still don't like the look of that sky, Pete said. We better sit tight. He closed the door and sat down. Do you remember anything else about Tornado? I prompted. Well, I remember this one time. This was the saddest day of my life, and I hate to tell it. Please, I said. Well, my daddy and I went to town in our truck. Tornado was in the back. We hadn't planned on taking him, but as soon as my daddy lowered the tailgate, he just jumped in like he knew what he was doing. So he got to go. My daddy and I parked the truck on the side of the street and went into the hardware store. Tornado stayed behind in the truck. We were gone about an hour, and when we came back, my daddy was loaded down with things, and I was carrying some brown bags filled with different sized nails. As soon as we got closer to the truck, I heard this voice saying, It's Buddy! It's Buddy! In an excited way. Mama! Papa! It's Buddy! Oh, Buddy! Buddy! I never thought I would see you again! Buddy! There was a family standing around the back of our truck, and one of the girls had climbed right in. She had thrown her arms around Tornado's neck. She was the one saying all the buddies. Well, I stopped where I was. I mean, to save my life, I couldn't have taken another step. The bags of nails fell from my hands onto the sidewalk. It was as if they had nailed me down. My daddy stiffened, shifting his packages to the rest, his hand on my shoulder. He had warned me not to get too fond of the dog. He's not yours yet. He had said it over and over again, but both my parents had asked around and nobody knew who he belonged to. Mm -hmm. Well, I had gotten fond of him, more than fond. I loved the dog and he was mine. And now some girl was calling him Buddy? My daddy held my shoulder tighter, tighter and said, uh, What's going on? to a short man in suspenders. Is this your truck? the man asked. It is. This dog, the man said. He looks exactly like our dog, Buddy, who got blown away in the August tornado. Well, that's about when we found him, my daddy admitted. He came to us. He was in our yard. I had stopped breathing. Everyone had, except for the short man in suspenders. Oh, my girl's been carried on something awful when she found out that dog was gone. She's always been real fond of him. Her grandfather gave him to her. My boy's gotten fond of the dog too, my daddy said. There was a long and terrible silence, and then the man in suspenders said, Well, maybe I better go get the police or something to settle this. Oh, that won't be necessary, my daddy said. You take the dog, he's rightfully yours. They let down the tailgate and took Tornado out of the back of the truck. They loaded him up into theirs. Tornado didn't look really happy, but I couldn't do a thing to stop what was happening. I was still nailed to the concrete. My daddy put his packages in the truck and came back and picked up my nails for me. Let's go home, Petey, he said, using the name he had called me when I was little. Then he fell silent. Even my daddy couldn't find the good in this. The truck was pulling away from the curb and Tornado was in the back. I tried to get one last look at my dog, but my eyes were just too full of tears. If my daddy hadn't helped me into that truck, I'd be standing there to this day. Chapter 7. The End of the Storm. We'll read that tomorrow.